ball from the Big Apple. We're in Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Game one here in the month of May between the Detroit Tigers and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Corey Kluber, the right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy, so whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. So stepping in is Alan Trammell. He will lead yeah, this one off Detroit. today. The third baseman. Alan. First pitch coming, here it Trammell. is. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. The wind up and the 0 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, we'll see if Jonathan Scope can keep up the hot bat. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. To the plate now, Andrew Jones. As he grounds one briskly to short, Torres picks it up. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's the pitch. As Kluber's able to get ahead of him here with strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, guys, this team is certainly coming together. Everyone, we were down there before the game. There's a fight at the bat rack right now. They won in huge blowout fashion yesterday, and they're looking to continue that offensive surge in this one. The one two. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Now another one two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. Tigers nothing, Yankees coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Michael Fulmer is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point? In a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs, to have an ERA sub two, that's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see more of the same from this guy, one of the top pitchers in all the league. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Heading out towards shallow right. Headed after it is Mazzara. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. That'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one on the first. And as Ernie may have said, it's two for the price of one for the Tigers. Two away. 
With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, of course, you have to like what Anthony Rizzo brings to this offense. He's what we call a run producer. Top five in the American League in RBIs right now. So, obviously, he's a big part of this offense, and we'll see what he has in store in this one. The next batter is Alfonso Soriano. Ramos has a play, and that's the third out. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder Victor Reyes. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. All right boys let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys the things I want you to focus on today one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Florio is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch rolled slowly down the third baseline right to him. Throw in time and the side is retired. Takes just four pitches to retire the Tigers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready now is Jordan Luplo. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Jordan. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Going back is the left fielder. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Oh, and that was really close to a walk out. The left fielder had a beat on it and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. That is good. Next up will be Glaber Torres. As he grounds one briskly to short. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Well, you can't fault the effort by the first base there. He did his best to make the save, stretching to his backhand side. He just can't quite close the glove on it, so it'll go down as a throwing error. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Well, that's as awesome. the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly right. well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally oh, yeah. sound. Start there first. Nice line drive to right field right there. Dan, does it concern you when you're missing middle, hard of the plate early in the game? It does, d -Roll. and this is the kind of guy that he can't get away with those kind of mistakes. He needs to work the corners up, down, in, and out. And like that one right there, he has to stay out of the middle of the zone. The 1-0. That's a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. A bullet to first base. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. Next, it'll be Jason Dominguez as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. Mazzara gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We've played two. It's now 1-0 New York. And 
that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 0 2. Line toward the gap in left center. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Tigers. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down 1 0 already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch oh, back. Yeah. Nomar Mazzara is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Nomar Mazzara goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Here's Robbie Grossman. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two and a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low and it's 1-2 and two now. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. The third baseman, number three, Allen. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there. Base hit. The tag, and they'll yeah. get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One left for Detroit. They still trail one nothing. for the inning and here's the switch hitting catcher Jorge Posada ready with the first pitch here it comes hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game but that finds its way through for a base hit around first digging for two Managers these days like to think of that nine hole hitter as the second leadoff man and he plays the role pretty well right here gets the leadoff double and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box swing and a shot toward right center and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Stoke. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. 
Stepping in once again is Alfonso Soriano. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment oh, right no here. Play. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Hit on the ground toward the left. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Into the box now, Jordan Lupo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And he'll get back in standing. The 1-0. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball, 1-1. One one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Hit in the air to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Not shortstop. Flavor. Runner at first with two gone, and that will bring up Labor Torres. From the stretch, here's the pitch. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. One one. Grounded to third. Trammell grabs it cleanly. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning.